That radio chick Cheryl Lee here with you. Welcome to the Still Rocking It podcast where we'll have music, news, reviews and interviews with some of our favourite Australian musicians and artists. Today I share a chat I had recently with one of Australia's finest exponents of jazz, soul and R&B, ARIA award winning internationally respected singer Renee Gaya. With hits like It's a Man's Man's World, Heading in the Right Direction, Stares and Whispers and Say I Love You, she's been described in the past by some as difficult but I found her to be nothing but delightful. Modest and generous, she's on her way to a town near you. What's Renee Gaya been up to lately? Let's find out. I'm really good. How are you? Well, thank you. Thank you for sparing a few minutes. I'm happy to do it. I'm looking forward to coming. You're with Cheryl Lee, that radio chick, and I've got the amazing Renee Gaya here with me. We're going to talk about a couple of special visits that she has coming to Adelaide shortly, but Renee, I just thought if you've got a few minutes, I could ask you a couple of questions, All right. if I may. When did you know, Renee, that music was your destiny, that uh, this was your life? I've always really kind of known, because my family is all sort of musical, and me and my brothers used to sing along to Beatles songs when we were little, and, you know, I've always known that I had musical sort of... In your you know, genes? In my genes, but, you know, um, I'm the only one really in the family that's done it professionally, though, so, you know, but always kind of knew I, I could sing, you know. Did you ever have a plan B? Uh, I always was thinking I might be a teacher, I did really well at Latin, believe it or not. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> not even a subject anymore. But I, I used to love Latin, so I thought, oh, I must teach this. If I'm so good at it, I'll teach it. So I was going to be a Latin teacher, and then, you know, music just took me away. Yes. This is your 25th album coming up, is that right? I don't right? know. I yes, don't like know, album. but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. You've had um, an, an amazing longevity and just such a wonderful career, and people like Sting and Shaka Khan and Joe Cocker have been lucky enough to perform with you. You've certainly had an amazing life. Music has taken you well, everywhere. Um, I, I don't say it in the past tense because I am having a good yeah. life. I'm still doing it. <laughs> Absolutely. Still rocking the podcast with that radio chick, Cheryl Lee. A song now from Renee's Tenderland album, Heading in the Right Direction. Trying to cheat me so many did before You made me feel so We are so looking forward to seeing you here in Adelaide It's been ages since I performed in Adelaide So I'm really, really excited Especially at the Regal Theatre And then the, the, and also the Pepper Tree um, I'm just looking forward to it immensely It's going to be fabulous I'll see you down the front at our, our oh, Regal goody. <laughs> Theatre is a gorgeous place and if you've not been to the Pepper Tree before, it's a lovely and intimate environment as well. I don't even think I've been in Old Dinga before, so it'll be nice to, to be there, you know, and just see what, what's going on. But um, it's great because I do the Pepper Tree first and then the next night the theatre. So it's just a couple of days of great, great stuff, you know. I'm, enjoy I'm looking forward to it. Rock historian Ian McFarlane described you as having a rich, soulful, passionate and husky vocal delivery. That sort of wraps up your style, doesn't it? I suppose it does. What can I say? You know, that's basically what they say. And, you know, I, I can't disagree. But, you know, like I just love singing and I love and I, I was born with a sort of a sound that I kind of, that, that sort of works for what I do. Just, I was just lucky to be born that way. And, um, and I just love what I do. I'm just lucky that I'm working for a living, doing something that I really just love doing, you know, so I'm lucky. That's what they say, don't they? Do something that you're passionate about and never yeah. work a day. And that's very, very lucky. Very lucky people that can do that. For sure. It's certainly distinctive. Whenever you hear a Renee Gaya track, you know, oh, look, that's Renee. And you know, just love it. Uh, it is lovely. It, it never fails to make me feel chuffed, you know. It never fails, you know. So I always am very, very thankful that it's that's what my life is, you know, just always thankful for it. 
You have been very blessed and you've blessed us as well. Just wanted to say a quick congratulations on your induction into the ARIA Hall of Fame back in oh, 2005. Yeah. Very well deserved. That's nice. Yes, yeah, a while ago now. Feels like yeah. it was just the other day, but yes, yeah, that was nice. I like that. That's a good thing. Your show coming up in Adelaide, it's called Intimate and Live. So you're going to play all our I'll, I'll obviously do the things that people know me for and then some other things. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll, we'll find out, as, you know, as I will find out as the day gets closer. Because I just never sort of sort it out till when it's very close. And then, then we do what we feel, you know, boys and I have a talk about it and then we just do it. So people will enjoy, if they like what I do, then they'll enjoy the night. You know? Yes, each one's different. Well, you know, basically it has always has the things that I'm known for. So yes. in a way it's the same on that level. But I always throw things in just because it's interesting to do so. And it makes life not boring, you know. It's just about doing something that just keeps me interested. Keeps you interested and gives us some surprises. Exactly, right. Still off the podcast with that radio chick, Cheryl Lee, playing Aretha Franklin's R-E-S-P-E-C-T next and you'll see why when we return and chat more with Renee after this. Are you here on the Thursday before? I'm not sure why. I'm the fundraising coordinator for Support Act South Australia and we have our function on the Thursday before and I was just going to invite you to the luncheon as our guest. (laughs) I'm not sure if I am there the day before and if I can't, it'll be because I'm working somewhere else um, or I I have to have a travel day to get somewhere. But um, I'm open to doing something in the future. You know, I will take it as a standing invitation for maybe something in the future. Please do. I'll say and I love support us. You know, very much in support of support us. They do great work, don't they? Absolutely, yes. We would love to shout you lunch, but we'll see how that goes. And it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. If not this time, as you say, an open invitation to join us. Okay. Any way possible, I'll be there. Lovely. Listeners, get onto the Googleometer. Uh, Googleometer. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look up the Pepper Tree Aldinger and the Regal Theatre Kensington Park. Renee's tour is called Intimate and Live. It's just Renee with her boys doing what I always do. So if you like what I do, you're going to love what I'm going to do. I think we'll love it, you know, because we can tell that you love it. How good is it after that sort of enforced downtime to be back in front of an audience oh it's wonderful you know like i said i never i never tire of this sort of thing you know i used to sort of not be thrilled to do these sort of things when i was younger because i didn't sort of understand what it all meant and how many people out there uh you know, how many people it reaches and stuff. So luckily I sort of wised Worked up. Worked that out. I wised up, yeah. I mean, it just I think most artists that are born with a gift don't expect the extra stuff that you have to do because we're born knowing how to do what we do, but we're not born knowing how to stand up there and, and excuse the term, but bullshit people, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Which is basically what it's about I mean you know in a good way you know but but it's about sort of going on and on about ourselves you know uh, it's not something that comes that's a natural thing but but it's understandable to reach people you know that's right music does that doesn't it It reaches everybody in some way exactly now I wanted to ask you too quickly I know you haven't got a lot of time what do you like to listen to when you when you can put on whatever you want I'll put on Aretha or Ray ah. Charles, that's what I do. Oh, End lovely. of story, that's it. And what yeah. more can I say? Anything of Aretha's, as long as it's older, you know, I don't like any of the, the sort of recent stuff of hers, but, but anything that's, you know, any of the classic stuff from the old days, I love her so much. And same with Ray Charles. They're just classics. The classics, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I think Ray Charles is consistently great all through the years, but I, I don't, not so sure about the, the, the more current stuff of Aretha's, you know, but, but, yeah. um, but love, love, love the, the classic stuff. 
Well, thank you so much for spending a bit of time in your very busy schedule because you started the tour already. You're already on the road. Um, we're sort of doing a few things in, um, you know, Victoria and stuff, and, and so sort of we're, we're starting, but we're just preparing and, and then getting ready to go out and do it. Very good. Well, thank you for your time this morning, and as thank I say... Thank you for having me. I'll see you down the front. I hope so. Come and say hello, please. I will do. I'll give you a wave. Put a name tag on so I know it's you, and then I can <laughs> say hello to you. Definitely. I'll give you right. a I'll give you a wave. Thank you so okay. much, Renee. Thank Have you. a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Still Rockin' It Podcast with that radio chick Cheryl Lee. We'll leave you now with one of Renee Gayer's all time favourites, Mr. Ray Charles. Hit the road, Jack. And that's exactly what we're gonna do too. You're with Cheryl Lee, that radio chick. Thank you so much for joining me on the Still Rocking It podcast. Hope to catch you again next time. Get out when you can, support Aussie music, and I'll see you down the front.